Welcome guys, and in today's video, I want to talk about stempling. Now you've asked plenty of times to do a stempling video, so now's the time. First, we take to it on fake skin, we go through that process, and then I bust out the trusty old leg, and we tattoo a little spot on that, just so you guys can see stempling both on fake skin and real skin, in hopes to make this process that much easier for you. So if you guys are ready to check that out, then let's So let's jump right into this. First thing we need, you already know, gloves. So to start this video out, we're gonna be using, again, the CNC Q2. And we're also gonna be using a three round liner with a long taper. It's not a bug pin, it's standard three round liner with a long taper. All right, I got ink loaded up in the tube. Let's set our voltage. So to start off with, we're running 8.1 volts. That's usually where I'm running most of the time. So if we turn that on, you can get a sound of that. I'm gonna turn it all the way down to like five volts, right around five volts, right there. Now, like we talked about in our last video when we were lining fake skin, is it comes down to hand speed to voltage. It's the same thing when it comes to stempling and most techniques in tattooing. In this case, you can run your voltage higher and move your hand speed and move your hand very fast. You can run your voltage a little slower and still move your hand somewhat fast, but Together, you can get the same effect with higher voltage as you can with lower voltage to some degree. So what I like to do is I'm gonna start low, we're gonna go lower, we're gonna go up, I'm gonna show you the different levels and the different speeds. So we're gonna start off with 5.1 volts and I'm gonna show you the technique. We have a little bit of ointment on the back of our hand here so we're ready to rock. Now I'm gonna set a little, I'm gonna run a little bit right here. Now again, this is the same fake skin we used in our other video, okay? And I already have paper towels underneath to help absorb some of the vibration and keep it from running through my table. Now again, it's a quick hand movement. We're gonna be coming from here and we're just gonna whip out, whip out, whip out, whip out. It's kinda like whip shading, only, I don't know, a little different. Here we go. Okay, as you can see, even the ink is kind of splotty and dotty, and that's really what we're looking for. So we're gonna wipe that off. Now, as you can see there, we have a stempled effect. Dots, it's not super smooth like you would get if you were doing some soft shading. Again, the needle is moving slower because I've slowed it down and my hand is moving faster, which is giving you this sort of dotted effect. And the way you wanna do that and move your hand especially if you're coming off of a corner, let's say, right? You're, this is some sort of corner and it's gonna be darker in the corner. You're here, you're pushing in, you're whipping up. So those dots get a little bit lighter as they progress as your machine comes up out of the skin. In, depending on how far your needles are thrown out, you might not be all the way in like this, but nonetheless, you're in the skin and you're pushing out and you're pushing out and up, out and up, out and up. That's the idea. So again, we'll do that one more time, and I'm just using black right now, this is just black. And what you'd wanna do, if you wanted it darker or what have you, is you'd build this up, build the layers up. So we'll come back in here. Give it a wipe. And it does get a little bit darker. Now here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna slow the machine down even more. The lowest this machine will go with this battery supply on there is 4.2 volts. So I wanna run it at 4.2 volts and see if we can get a simple effect, if it's any different. So let's do that again. So we're gonna do the same thing, only right next to it. And again, just black at 4.2 volts.
Okay. And there you have running at 4.2 volts. If you notice a little bit here, the dots are just slightly further apart and I move my hand a little bit slower, but those dots are a little bit further apart and that's because that needle is coming out of the tube a bit slower, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing, only we're gonna kick it up a notch. Let's go up to right around eight volts where I would normally tattoo most things at. So again, here we are, 8.1 volts. I'm gonna move my hand a little bit faster now knowing that my speed is faster. So I need to move my hand faster than I did here in order to get a similar result. Okay, running 8.1 volts, we will wipe that away. And there you can kind of get the gist of how that looks. It's not far off from here. So now you can see that your, your voltage doesn't necessarily have to be super low to do stempling. If your, hand, if your voltage is running around eight volts or whatever's comfortable for you, then you just want to move your hand extra fast, just a little bit faster so that the needles don't have time to perfectly come out like this, perfectly along that line you're running. You want it to be so fast where it's like hitting, hitting, hitting. So that's the concept. And if you run your voltage really low, then your hand doesn't have to move as fast to get that separation and that dotted look. Uh, so if you run your machine faster, just move your hand faster. Now, I do believe at times there's gonna be a time for lowering your voltage, time for upping your voltage, but as a whole, there is no set voltage for stempling. Again, it comes down more so to hand speed, in my opinion, with this particular machine and a couple like it that I have used. Now, another thing, I'll keep it at 8.1 volts for now. Um, another thing I wanna show is just like in other techniques, you don't have to start in one spot and whip out. You can do a back and forth pendulum motion. So let's try that out. And as you can see here, again, that's that back and forth. So if you were filling an area, um, you could literally back and forth pendulum that motion to keep a consistent look throughout your tattoo. So that's essentially how it looks on fake skin. Keep in mind, you can build this up. And a lot of times you're gonna have to build it up. Also guys, I wanna talk about something else. So Rain sent me, I think that's how you spell their name or say their name, Rain, Rain. Anyhow, they sent me a couple boxes of their needles, I guess to try out, I have no idea, they just showed up. So nonetheless, I figured why we're at this, they sent me some threes. So let's throw this three in the machine and see how it does in comparison. So here it is loaded up into the machine. I'm gonna run this again, 8.1 volts. Same thing, just real quick so we can see how these perform. So, here we go. So there you go, that kind of gives you an idea of what these needles are doing. And honestly, that felt really good. And it might have something to do with the fact that that was a bug pin. A lot of times when it comes to three round liners, I like them long taper, but not always a bug pin. But this has actually been really nice to use. But we have to push them to their test. So we're gonna be doing two things next. One, we're gonna be tattooing my leg. I'm gonna stimple it. Again, I'm gonna shave an area, show you how this stuff looks on real skin as well. Also, I'm gonna be using these needles here that Rain, Rain, whatever it is, sent me, and we're gonna see how they perform on actual skin. So if you guys wanna check that out, let's get into it now. All right, everything's loaded up. I'm using that Rain, whatever needle, cartridge in there. Um, I got a part of my skin shaved, let's go to town. So as you can see, guys, here's our old color healed up a little bit. 
So right next to that, we are gonna go ahead and stimple. So again, that's the motion, guys, just like this. And wipe it away. And as you can see, we have that stippled effect. And now again, that's running at 8.1 volts. So if we slow this down, I will attempt to put that right next to it so you can see the side by side. Now you definitely get more of a tug on the skin if you're moving that's about the same hand speed. You can feel the tug. But as you can also see, the dots are further apart. They're more spaced out. The machine is running slower. And again, you can run that all the way up. Like I said, I was running at eight volts and running at five volts. The lower you go, the more spaced out those dots are gonna be in conjunction with your hand speed. So we're, let's crank it back up here to 8.1 volts and we'll do it one more time so you guys can check that out. Now again, I have to run a little bit faster here because my machine's running faster. And as you can see, there you go. And then you can come back and cross hatch it if you want to in order to fill it out a little bit more. But that is essentially how we stipple. Well, that's that guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it makes a little more sense now. If you didn't understand it, there's a lot of nuances that go into it. Hand speed being one, voltage. Play with it a little bit, get your practice skill out, do the best you can, go through the motions. I think you'll find very quickly that it's not very difficult of a technique. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell to get notifications when I post, when we go live, anything like that. So again, until next time guys, peace.